And we're back in the exact same place that we left off. Because we are classy like that. Ain't gonna leave you hanging. There now. Wait, where's the alien we're trying to shoot? We're trying to find it. Just oh. ran away. To designated position. You mean like, this alien was intelligent? Like, there are times where the aliens will just fucking run. That's weird. And you just have to find them, because they're annoying pieces of shit. They don't just, like, run away and run away, run away. They just run to some no, corner they just, of the map. They usually just position themselves somewhere, huh. and then they just don't move. That's weird. So they just kind of sit in a corner and hunker down, and you kind of have to find them. Because the AI is just like, well, I'm not going to fucking win this, so... I'm... I I think it's hiding behind this truck. Oh, you need vision? Oh, okay. No, I have vision. Because the game was telling me there was a thing somewhere this way. It's not in the truck. Are you sure it's not in the building? So it must be somewhere... Oh, it's probably around over here. Aye, aye, Commander. Visual on the goods. What? Visual on the goods, eh? Yeah, meld. Oh. One of the things about meld is you have... Is basically, I have three turns to go over there and collect it, mm -hmm. or else it self destructs. Oh. And the thing is, melds. I'm on the moon. There's only two meld canisters in every encounter. Mm -hmm. So, if you're not careful about collecting it, you will just have no meld once you actually like, get the stuff for it. And they make things? Yeah, you can make things out of it. Copy that. I won't spoil it for you. <gasps> can you make alien shit with it? Well, you can make alien stuff out of like the. Yeah. I don't think we're alone out here. <laughs> so apparently it's behind me now. Oh. So like these are like sound waves. Basically, the game's telling me, "Hey, the aliens over here, dumbass." Those are some loud ass aliens. Assaults have the ability to run and gun, which means they can dash and then do something. Oh. Which normal people can only move once. I don't know where the fuck this alien is. Heading to that location. I'm not going to that meld. I'm trying to see if there's anyone in here. I'm trying to figure out where the fuck I'm supposed to be going. It just showed you, like, that way. You have to go over the, the bottom left of the map. Yeah. Moving. That sniper is worth worthless until you get their first like, ability. And there, it finally showed up. Congrats, dude. Oh yeah, and there's destructible terrain. Oh yeah, yeah. I've the seen that. Trying to pull back. Can you just jump down from the roof? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Heading to that location. Oh. Well, fuck you, alien. I'm about to start keeping score. Yeah. Okay, so since the mission hasn't ended, that means there's. Oh shit! I'm not gonna get that meld. Well, fuck. That's what you get for wasting that one turn. I just assumed it was the last alien. I'm on it, Commander. So there's one more in here or something. Oh. Rolling out. So wait, you can move to the yellow parts? Yeah, you can move to the yellow parts, but if you move like this is a movement, and if I go into the yellow it's a dash. You oh. can't do anything if you dash. Oh. Unless Already you're there. an assault. Oh and god, you that, running gun. that derpy fucking cinematic. Oh! It's yeah, two. so there were two more that I. I just assumed there were four, and I. Flipped. And if you end the mission. Like, killing all the aliens ends the mission. Mm -hmm. 
and when you end the mission, you collect the meld. So I was thinking, oh, I'll just kill that last alien, and then I'll end the mission. But there were more. And the sniper's fucking useless. Although I can switch to a pistol, which they can. Pistols are always my go. Actually, pistols and sniper rifles in video games have always been my go-to weapons. Well, the pistols in this game are shit. But oh, that's lame. Unless you buy the upgrades for them. Ew, its head just popped off. If you get the upgrades, then they're meh. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Man, pistols are always like the OP as shit things though. Like they're always super. Like I, I fucking hate assault rifles in video games, unless it's, you know, a multiplayer game like Call of Duty or something. In which case, then. Assault rifles are the only things okay. that are good. But since he's the last one, I'm just gonna walk the machine in the face. Nice. Nailed it. And, and sometimes they'll just po sometimes they will just point their guns to the left and hit them. <laughs> like so, I missed one of the melt canisters, but I'm not gonna be able to use it for a while. Commander, Seriously, you have so much funding. How do you only have one plane and one squadron? We don't get that much funding. You have an entire fucking base! Just like it sounds, the support class provides oh, that intangible support. edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. They're the cheerleader? Mm -hmm. But yeah, and then panic increases in the countries we you don't help. In touch, Commander. Huh? Wait, Asia? Commander, you can but one was in... By awarding them medals oh right, you helped the one in Africa. You can view Man, all those Japanese schoolgirls are now part of like some gross alien hentai like shit. <laughs> it's not cool, those ones didn't have tentacles. Anyway. They've not established that in their culture as kinky yet. Yeah, so. Give them like five years, maybe they will. God damn. This is the situation room. Basically, it shows you the panic of each country. Man, fuck Argentina, fuck Japan. And then. You can also put satellites in all the countries, which have the satellites. You. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. And then he'll just randomly fucking talk while you're in this menu, and it's annoying as shit. So wait, if their things get to max, then they stop giving you funding? Yeah, It well, if they get to five panic, you see, every, every month you get a council report. Yes. Which is basically the, you get your score for the month, and then you get your funding. So when the couch report hits, I'll get 165 credits. Mm -hmm. And if one of them is at 5 panic, and I get the council report, they'll leave the project. That sounds fucking stupid. Yeah. It's basically, if I let panic get too much, they'll just quit. Just let their country die. Like, if they that, leave you... That's what happens. Good. That's fucking Command, stupid. Our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite You can probably disable that help, can't you? Uh, oh, and I can launch a satellite now in oh. a country if I want. Launching a satellite decreases panic and it lets me spot UFOs. Huh. Do you ever get a fight on an alien ship? Um, you can... Well, when you put up satellites, you can send out interceptors to shoot down UFOs. And then you can get on the... Then you can search the UFOs mm. and kill stuff. Then there's a couple missions. There's a lot of different missions. And then you get different bonuses for which... You get monthly bonuses for launching satellites in different places. Nothing to report at the moment. Boards are clear. So get scientists per month, engineers per month. Mm. You're gonna expend a bunch of credits per month, though? No, this gives me $100 per month. Oh! Like, I get... If I launch a satellite in any of these countries, I get additional money and special benefits. You should launch one in Japan, so you can spy on the, all those Japanese schoolgirls. Oh, desu desu. I'm thinking I will since I get 
a bunch of extra money, more engineers, and a lower panel. Bonus future combat. Do you get fucking mechs? No. You get mechs! I know that kind of. shit-eating smirk. Kind of. We've been picking up some odd transmissions lately. Do I get a pilot of Gundam? We've still got some room yeah, to grow up here, build but if we really want to expand our facilities, I want you to get a I want you to get a gun gun or a Jaeger. I want you to get a Jaeger. You can't build those. No, damn it! You should be able to build a Jaeger or an Ava. Yeah, I'd rather see an Ava. Okay, I need more engineers to build another satellite. Actually, wait. So you get a max of six people in a team? Yeah. That's that's enough for that thing from Power Rangers and the weird robot kaiju thing the Green Ranger had with his weird dagger flute thing. <laughs> I do not remember <laughs> Power Rangers well. I remember the Sega Genesis game the best. Scramble interceptors. Like he totally had he totally had a flute that was a dagger. And he summoned a giant robot kaiju with it, right? It was like Megazord, or was that? No, that was the main robot. That was like. Was that five people? That was two arms, two yeah, feet. And body. This whole thing's fucking stupid, but. Yeah, so I just shot down We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. Voodoo 37. All right, people. Retest Voodoo. recon satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, that? sir. On screen. Dialogue for V was magnified. Vulcan. Whatever. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Ooh, you get a harvest of UFO. Was that UFO seriously a fucking UFO shape? Yeah. Like, not all of them are like that, but the small scouts are. How do you develop interstellar travel? Well, you see, you build a giant space frisbee and then get a giant mech to throw you. <laughs> <laughs> Better hope they have some good fucking aim. <laughs> um... We get the best alien frisbee pilots to pilot the mechs that throw the little scouts and the frisbees, but... <sighs> Since I have a support, I'll give them a med kit. SQ? What does SQ stand for? Uh, squatty. Squatty? Yeah. Target site is near the German border. What do you what do you call a soldier with a frisky temper? A Sasquatty. <laughs> yeah. What? What do you call a soldier with a frisky temper? A Sasquatty, because they're sassy. I can't just be like, what do you call a soldier with a sassy temper? Because then you're gonna be like, what do you call him a Sasquatty? Ruins the joke. Like, because it's Sasquatch and a Sasquatch. I'm on the move. Team. That's what we're looking for. Also, those aliens have really fucked stuff up. Their thing fucking crashed here. Oh, <laughs> so it took. It's taken. It looks like something's exploded. Let's do this. That camera, that is not good. I to turn it off at some point, but man. Order's confirmed. Moving out. Dashing. But yeah, no, that's not. I'm on the move. What it would look like if something crash landed. 
successfully ran through these buildings on its way down. How? Did it, like, spiral kind of down? Like, did it do circles? It went down in a fucking line. It just smashed everything. How big is this fucking scout ship? Oh, they're not that big, but... And how'd they take out buildings on both sides, but didn't manage to, like, take out any of the street? Come down. It makes no sense. Stepping off. Oh, so it came down this way. Applies. So these buildings are just destroyed because this place off. sucks. Because it's used for like the super OP shit. Yeah. Like you can make some really good soldiers. Can you make a laser? Like, oh. Really, aliens that live off pure energy? It's made out of pure energy. Or made out of whatever. I'm on the move. They fucking plasma weapons. They can do whatever the fuck they want. I guess. It's dead. That pure energy being didn't really withstand bullets very well. It has a core. So I'm surprised I ran into that thing first. Yeah? Because those are like the main enemy things that are on saucers. Is everything. Okay, that's that's pretty fucking big. That saucer's pretty fucking big. That's one of the small ones. Well, I'm just saying, because like, you were like, hey, it's pretty small. That's the size of a building. Uh, it's one of the things where they get really big uh. later on. Like, there are missions where the entire level is inside of one. Okay. Got it. Moving. Like, the final mission is, like, you board the mothership. Oh. Copy that. Got something over here. Oh jeez. Hey. That's one of the side. reasons why you don't want to dash. Because if you dash, you're fucked. But if you run forward, you can just go right out of there. That's affirmative. You also want to be really careful about spreading your people out. Why? Because basically, the aliens are in, like, these little clusters, just dotted around the map. And basically, they won't move until you find them. Oh. So if you split up your forces, you have the risk of just fucking getting the, ten the attention of all the fucking aliens on the goddamn map. That's affirmative. To withstand an impact like that... And like, I've had times where I've just got fucked spread out too far. I guess they're trying to flank you. Yeah. <laughs> that camera. Yeah. Understood. Moving out. The alien flight computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Please, take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. So, considering all the aliens are outside of the ship, you can just walk inside and harvest stuff? No, they're just saying, like, once... Oh. Once the mission's done, you recover everything from the vessel. But if you blow it up, you can't get it. Oh. Or you'll get damaged components, which aren't useful. So it's basically saying, just. So that person was basically just saying, don't blow that up, you fucking idiot. 
Boop. Oh yeah, and so that thing was in Overwatch, and I ran into it because I forgot this is in late game. Here they come. Yeah. Oh, there's and a lot over that's, there. That's 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 why I said don't split your people up because shit like Everybody this happens. Yeah. Where people can run in and then they get fucked. So, it, oh. so if people die, they're dead for good. Right? Yeah. So that guy could essentially just be dead forever. Yeah. Like, ah, oh, fuck. This is the support shit. Yep. Is the support not a gun? Well, it's, it's the support. I could have thrown a smoke grenade over there. Oh. Because you can lay down smoke so that way people can't hit you as easily. Like, there's a lot of tactical shit. Oh, I can just throw it over this rubble. Smoke. Yeah, since he's in the least amount of cover and he's flanked and shit. Yeah. So, he's now got a smoke cover, so they're le less likely to hit him. And this person has a shit chance to shoot, but the sniper can't move him anyway. No. Yay! It was a thirty. It was a one, one in three chance. So yeah. you can fail ninety nine percent. It's the most frustrating thing in the world, but it can happen. That's because shit like that. It's not actually like ninety nine percent. Sometimes, it, yeah, so. sometimes games say that, but it's really not ninety nine percent. All right. I'm just gonna finish this mission because I can just yeah. Walk up. Oh, I should have walked up to that guy. Whatever. Boop. And then that kills the other one. <laughs> Ew. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, that was uh, gross, but I guess that's a gross enough note to end it on. Yep. Be back next time.